What's going on everybody? So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Miller Multiprocess Multimatic 220 ACDC welder. And um, the cool thing with the Miller uh, Multimatic 220 ACDC is that it can pretty much do it all. And uh, I'm gonna be uh, presenting this review from the perspective of a total beginner because that's what I am. Um, I've never welded, you know, I've never went to school for welding. I've never, you know, kind of had any kind of background in welding or any kind of like, even like experience in welding. Um, so this machine, the reason that I chose this machine is because um, mainly the auto set feature. Um, the auto set feature allows you to just kind of plug in certain little information and then it does everything for you. So for example, like uh, let's say, you know, you have a piece of metal, you know, and you just tell the machine like, hey, it's a 16 gauge, you know, it's this thick, and um, I'm gonna be using 25% CO2, 75% argon, um, and MIG weld. And, you know, the machine just calculates everything. Um, also, all you have to do is plug everything in. So you plug in your MIG gun, plug in your TIG torch, um, your foot pedal, ground lead, all that kind of stuff. And then from there, then, you can just, the machine will automatically arrange whatever, you know, DC positive, DC negative, electro positive, all that kind of stuff, um, you know, for you. So it just takes out all of that kind of like user operator experience, which can be, a, a, it's a good thing, you know, if you're gonna be the home welder and this is gonna be your only welder. But, um, you know, if you are gonna like go out and, you know, use other welders, then it does pay to learn how to calculate all that stuff um, the right way, I'll say. Um, so the cool thing with this welder, you know, once again, I'm a total beginner. And um, the, the other selling point I would say, because I was looking at the Hobart 200, which is their multi-process welder. I was looking at the Vulcan, um, you know, the Esaab Rebel. And the reason I chose this, um, you know, going back to this machine is because ease of use with the auto set feature, um, it can weld aluminum, which is another really cool thing. Um, yeah, I was also looking at the Miller Multimatic uh, 215, which is another multi-process welder. And, um, but for, you know, a little bit extra money, you just step up to the Multimatic 220 and you can weld aluminum. So, you know, I thought, I thought it was worth it. Plus another big seller is that um, from this price point down, um, you, it, the duty cycle I think is probably the highest that I saw um, when I was looking at welders. You know, the, and so the duty cycle for this is 60% for MIG, and then um, I think 40% for TIG, and shield metal arc welding, I think it's a 40. I could be wrong on that, maybe it's 20. Um, but I will put the specs uh, in, you know, in the link and all that kind of stuff in the description up here. So don't worry. Um, yeah, so the other thing is that um, the machine can hold two tanks. So you don't have to worry about like switching, you know, from argon, 100% argon for TIG and then 25% CO2 for MIG and all that kind of stuff. It also comes with um, the upgraded MDX uh, MIG gun, so that's cool. Um, and you know, you, you still get like all your starts for TIG, you know, you get your high freak, um, high frequency start, lift arc remote, and then lift arc. So that's cool. You get um, a lot of options for different types of welding, flux core, 100% CO2, 25% CO2, um, you know, TIG, stainless, um, TIG aluminum, you know, so it's really cool. And, um, you know, the, the machine is, 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 it's just like, you know, super simple. Um, so, you know, going to the TIG side, uh, I've never TIG welded before up until buying this machine. Um, the most I've done was soldering, and I don't know if soldering kind of carries over, but I feel like it kind of does. So um, I wasn't too worried uh, when I started TIG welding, but I mean, it's so easy and it's the most fun. TIG welding is like driving stick shift and MIG welding is like driving an automatic, in my opinion, um, as a beginner. So, uh, but yeah, the TIG welding feature is just, I mean, it's a dream to use. Uh, it's really fun. Um, there, there are some people out there that'll say like, uh, cut your tungsten into threes. 
so that uh, and grind them so that you don't have to keep going back to the grinder. But my advice on that when you're learning TIG is don't cut it into threes. Go to that grinder because that grinder is going to teach you. It's it's kind of like a it's it's like a teacher because every time you mess up and you dip your tungsten then you're gonna have to go back to the grinder and grind it and that's gonna just reinforce like you to just really develop your skills so that you don't dip your tungsten. Um, I feel like if you just have the, you know, you have a bunch of tungstens that are already pre-ground, then you'll just be like dip and then okay, just change, dip, okay, just change. But when you have to go to that grinder, stop what you're doing, you know, set it up in the drill and kind of grind away, uh, you're just like, dang, I don't wanna do this. And so uh, it just kind of like makes you uh, really focus when you're TIG welding. Um, but going back to the review, because I want to keep this review short. And um, also just from the perspective of a total beginner, you know, there's, there's, you got all the pros out there. Uh, they can do a better job reviewing this machine than I can. Um, but I just want to say if you're a beginner and you're looking for a welder, then definitely look at the Miller uh, Multimatic uh, 220 ACDC. Um, you know, it's worth taking a look because it just offers so much for the price. Um, at the time that I purchased it, I think it was a little under $3,000. Um, so, you know, for what you get, I think that's a really good deal considering that it can hold or it can uh, handle uh, two tanks so you don't have to swap tanks and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you, the, another cool thing with the machine is you know, you just select between TIG and MIG uh, just by either pressing on the foot pedal or the TIG gun or the MIG gun and the machine does everything. You don't have to switch like your ground lead or anything like that. The machine does it all for you. And if you want, you know, if you're feeling like super pro, then you can turn the auto set feature off and then you can dial in your own parameters and all that kind of stuff. So you, you, have, you have options. Um, it, the machine doesn't just like lock you out and say like you only have to use the auto set. Um, the other cool thing is that buying a machine like this, uh, especially allowing you to, to TIG, uh, TIG weld uh, aluminum, um, you know, all that kind of stuff, it, it, it offers room for growth. So if you're a beginner and you're like, well, you know, I don't need all that, you know, I'll just buy this MIG welder, um, most likely you're gonna outgrow it because welding is just gonna be so much fun. And so you're gonna be like, oh man, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. Um, so. Uh, I, I recommend you know buying a machine that's going to allow you to grow. And the Miller Multimatic uh, 220 that that has a lot of room for growth because uh, you're going to start TIG welding. You're going to want to learn how to weld aluminum. Aluminum is challenging, which um, aluminum gets a bad rap in my opinion. Um, I think aluminum is actually pretty easy. Uh, what you know what's really hard that caught me off guard. Um, and this is just for you beginners, uh, me included, I'm speaking for all beginners, um, is stainless steel. Stainless steel is something that I did not expect to be as challenging uh, as it is. Um, there's a lot to stainless steel, um, more so than aluminum. Um, aluminum, you just kind of have to worry about heat if you're welding thin uh, pieces of aluminum, which uh, not to worry because this machine has a pulse feature um, so what the pulse feature means is that it'll just strike an arc and then back off, strike again, back off, uh, and you can set the timing on that. So for example, if you do like one pulse per second, which is what it's called, um, then it'll light up and go off, and then every second light up, go off. And so what that does is it controls the heat a little bit better. Um, which and that's something that's really good for stainless steel, um, but it's even good for aluminum as well um, But yeah stainless steel is like a whole different animal. So um, But don't let that deter you because this machine can handle stainless steel great um, Especially with the pulse settings and all that kind of stuff um, in terms of amps for TIG uh, especially when you're welding really thin stainless steel um, it can only go down to 20 amps. Um, and I haven't really looked at if you can control it from the foot pedal to go lower, but um, as far as I know, 20 amps is the lowest you can set the machine. And, um, but like once you really get into like the, the small thin stainless steel, uh, really use the pulse feature for this machine because it will help keep uh, 
the stainless um, from you know oxidizing and all that kind of stuff. Plus, you're going to need to use like some kind of like you know purge system or solar flux. Like I said, uh, I'm kind of getting into like more like I'm got I'm kind of getting ahead of everything. You know, I don't want to kind of like deter everyone from you know purchasing the machine or, or at least TIG welding stainless. TIG, TIG welding stainless is still fun, um, but just you know something to keep in mind but yes this machine is great um yeah and so you do get the more upgraded foot pedal um with the miller 215 the miller multimatic 215 multi-process welder you get the smaller foot pedal that has like the ethernet jack that you plug into the machine whereas this one it has like a mil spec um threaded connector that you uh, like five pin or or eight pin connector that you have to actually screw into the machine. So um, that's really cool. And the pedal is humongous. I mean, it's huge, it's super strong. So like when you're um, activating the TIG torch and you're trying to control the amount of amps, um, you, you know, it's, it's not flimsy where you, you, know, you just touch it and it flops. Um, so it's really strong. But, and the MIG feature um, on this machine is amazing. Um, you can just, you know, MIG is super easy. Um, you get a you get a roll of MIG wire. Uh, it's not flux core, so you can't just like start welding right away once you get your machine, um, unless you buy some flux core wire. So keep that in mind, um, you know. But if you plan to like um, use CO two, then you know don't yeah then you're good. You'll just have to go buy a bottle of CO two, or if you already have it, then you can just hook it up. Um, but yeah, the machine is it's it's great. It's amazing. Um, yeah, I, I'm happy, you know, I've been using it for a while and, you know, it hasn't disappointed. That's, that's the thing. Uh, you know, everything works, um, it works good. And, uh, you know, I, I haven't like maxed out the duty cycles or anything like that. Um, and the cool thing is it runs on, uh, 120 and 240 volts and I've been running it at 120. Uh, I will upgrade, um, to a 240, uh, but for, I mean, for the most part, I've been doing, you know, 120 and the machine's fine. Um, I've welded uh, some pretty thick stuff and the machine's been, it's been good. It hasn't, you know, it hasn't like uh, pooped out or anything like that. So um, that's, it's good. And also, you know, like me, not everyone has 240. So to have a machine that can do 240 and 120, uh, that's that's awesome so yeah that's another cool thing but yeah just trying to make this review quick because i know i'm like talking and everything like that but yeah so this machine um it works it's great i love it um so yeah definitely uh you know take a look at it uh when you're kind of looking for a new welder i highly recommend this machine all right well it's been a long talk and uh i know you guys uh are eager to go get some welding done or at least shop for some welders so until the next video be sure to like and subscribe i'll see you then okay so i mentioned earlier in the video that i was going to talk about uh the cart and the table so i'm going to go briefly over this cart um there's a <clears throat> i i don't know if there's a lot of reviews on this cart um so uh, I'll just kind of, you know, uh, tell you that this cart is a great cart for the price. It's under $200 and uh, you get dual tank capacity. And so I was looking at um, the Vulcan uh, cart from Harbor Freight and that's a good cart. But the only thing is that for the 220, it's a little, it's a little tight. It fits like just right for the 220 whereas this cart there's room uh so if you want to like sit some accessories on the side like in this little channel right here you can um but the really the, the biggest selling point uh for me and especially if you're going to buy the multi the miller multimatic 220 uh is you want the dual uh tank capacity and so this cart uh, offers that uh, the 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 metal thickness, the build quality, it's it's all there. It's it's super strong, super solid. You get um, some nice rubber casters and or wheels, and then you get the uh, heavy duty casters in the front. Um, so that's that's really cool. Uh, also, 
Um, you have this, this handle right here, which is adjustable. You just uh, unhook these levers, which I'm not a big fan of the, the, adjust, the adjustability, um, meaning that you can lower this down or you can keep it up. I just decided to keep it up and um, that, helped, that helped the most. Um, it has dual, you know, you can hold dual um, hoses, so you can have one for your TIG hose and then one for your MIG hose, uh, so that's cool. That's kind of how I have it set up. I have MIG on this side and then TIG, TIG's running on the other side, and then I keep my, I keep my um, ground and my foot pedal uh, on this base right here, on this base plate, and... Um, and then like I kind of run my cord uh, around the tanks and then back down. And then uh, how I have my air hoses is I have my air hoses, they run from the back of the machine down under the cart and then back around and then through the, onto the regulator. And I do it that way just for a maximum flow so no lines are pinched or kinked. Uh, it's just kind of like the, the best for the flow. Um, so yeah, I, this cart's great. It comes with a chain. It comes with two chains actually, uh, but I got a few on. No, I'm just, that's a two chains reference um, for all you uh, hip hop heads out there. Um, but it comes with two chains and um, that's really cool because you know, it's just that added um, line of safety because you definitely don't want these tanks to fall and uh, break. Uh, and just, you know, waste all your argon aside from other problems. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, aside, the only thing is this, this right here is kind of loose. That's the only thing, but it's not a deal breaker at all. Like ever since I've been using this cart, I don't even notice it unless I push it from this end, which I, I never do. I always use the, um, the handle right here. So, you know, with that, with that being said, um, <clears throat> everything fits up super nice. Um, build quality, like I said, is amazing. It's super strong. Um, it can hold me. I was, if you see my other video, I'm skating around on it. Um, so it can definitely hold the weight. Uh, weight's not a, weight capacity is not an issue if you're going to run the 220 with two tanks plus accessories. You'll be fine. So, um, yeah, this is the Metal Man dual cylinder cart um yeah so the company is metal man and yeah it's it's under 200 bucks and it's it's the best in my opinion I, i've been shopping around for a whole bunch of carts and they're either like single tank or they're just ridiculously expensive and this cart is the best cart for the price uh build quality and everything is amazing so uh highly recommend this cart um, if you're gonna buy the Miller Multimatic 220 uh, and you're gonna run two tanks, then buy this. Even if you're not gonna run two tanks, just buy this anyway because you never know in the future you might run two tanks. So um, that's my recommendation for welding carts. Now I'm gonna talk about the table. Okay, so here's the clutch table from Northern Tool. And this table, uh, there's a lot of reviews out there on how to put this table together, uh, what they think about the table. So I'm not gonna go too far into detail uh, because there's a lot of great reviews out there. I'll just add to it. Um, when I was looking for a table, uh, it was either uh, this table or a just you know large, I guess, full-size table, but the price just goes up like, like an insane amount. I mean, the price gets out of hand quick. And so um, I, thought that this table was going to be too small. I thought that um, I, I wasn't going to be able to do any kind of projects on this table. And, uh, you know, but in regards to price, one, this, this table as well as the cart is under $200. And so, um, you know, I just went on and bought it and uh, it's, it surprised me. I mean, this table exceeded all of my expectations. Um, I was able to, you know, I've been able to weld a lot of things on it. Uh, it's been a great table to practice on, uh, everything. I will say if you buy this table to put it on casters so that you can move it around because it's very heavy. And so um, when you put it on casters, uh, it, it just makes this table 
the ex it makes using this table just so much better. Uh, the experience, the user experience just goes up. So make sure you put it on casters. Another thing I did is when I installed it, I, I flipped the, the support rail upside down so that I could, I could put a, a wooden uh, here. Let me sh see if I can show you. So you can see here I put a wooden um, you know, plywood board here so that I can just store more things because the table doesn't come with any kind of like uh, storage, you know, I guess plank. So you have to make one. In order to do that, you just gotta flip, you gotta flip this over uh, because the instructions will tell you to have this opening facing down, but you just wanna uh, flip it over and then that way you can keep your wood in there. And then you can just use it as a storage, like to store metal and everything like that. Um, let me go over the toolkit really fast because you do get a toolkit. And, uh, once again, there's a bunch of videos out there, so I won't go too much into detail, but you get like a nice toolkit um, and everything. Whoops. And you know, like, so you can just kind of like arrange, arrange your, your metal and stuff like that uh, in certain uh, orientations. And then you can use uh, these vices to kind of lock everything down. Um, you also have like your tubing holders, so you can like, uh, you know, fit some tubing in there and line, line it up and get really accurate, um, you know, uh, welds and stuff like that. So that's, that's um, you know, a really big bonus for under $200. You get this really cool uh, tool accessory kit, which alone, you know, if you were to piece this out individually, uh, you know, that could put the table well over 200 bucks. You could spend like 100 bucks just on tools alone. So to get the table plus the tools for under $200 is amazing. Uh, and I'm sure you guys have noticed, you saw me using this. Um, by the way, this, this comes with the Miller. If you buy the Multimatic um, 220, uh, you get a gauge, like a size gauge, which is really cool. This comes in handy a ton. Um, but here is... This thing is so strong. Oh, man. Um, but yeah, so this is like my, you know, TIG torch, MIG torch um, holder. And this thing is super cool. It's super strong. I'll definitely put a link in the description below where you can buy this. Uh, this is really cool. Um, this is also cool. You want to have like one of these little um, welding magnets. I like to call them arrows and I like to keep it up because, you know, always uh, look up and... Um, praise above. So uh, I like to keep this, you know, just, just um, on the table, just as a reminder. But yeah, so this, this thing, this welding magnet is super strong. And um, I'll definitely put a link in the description where you can get one. And it's super handy. Uh, you can just sit your TIG torch in there. And that thing is not, I mean, you could steer this table with this. Look at this. Look at that. I am steering this table just with this magnet. So it's super strong. Um, and then, you know, you can hang your gauge right there and then your TIG torch right here. And, uh, so yeah. And then here's your tool. So yes, this table is super cool. This metal is about three millimeters thick or no, four millimeters thick. Um, in my other video where I talk about the Miller, um, I also, uh, briefly, uh, give some specs on this table and it's, it comes in at like four millimeters thick. Um, and so, yeah, there's no, you don't get a lot of warping. Uh, I, a lot of other people who bought this table did say the table uh, was a little off, uh, meaning that um, it wasn't truly flat. But uh, in my other video, I took a leveler and everything and kind of, you know, measured some areas. And uh, it's kind of true. It's a little warped, but it's nothing bad. Um, uh, you know, it might just be like the nature of the table, um, but you know, for what it is and what you get, it's, it's amazing. Um, you're still going to be able to weld great on this table and, uh, you know, you won't be disappointed. So that's, so this is my recommendation on a table and, uh, both the cart and this table, uh, I, I was not paid for this review or anything like that. Just my personal opinion. Um, for so if you're a beginner and you want to get started, then this is the setup that I would recommend is the clutch, 
welding table and the metal man uh, welding cart. So those are the two uh, recommendations um, for just kind of like uh, welding accessories, I guess you could say, or welding uh, supplements, you know, just to kind of keep everything mobile. And um, definitely the, the, the casters on this table just makes everything great because then you can store this table where you want and when you want to use it, you can move it to where you need to rather than just working from a fixed location. So I think I covered everything. And um, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching everybody. Um, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.